say good morning. Poison, can you say good morning to everyone? <laughs> I see you. Hello, anyone? Okay, I will let my baby sleep. So this morning I'm very excited because I have a brand new toy to open and play with. I'm just, my curiosity has been killing me. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to open this. And it is now the time. <laughs> so this is a gift from my friends over at Teamy Blends. And when they first emailed me and told me about this, I was like, that has gotta be one of the coolest sounding things I've ever heard of. I need. Rainy, what's in there? What's in there? So this is a portable blender that you charge with a USB. Like, is the future here or is the future here? This has gotta be one of the niftiest little gadgets I've ever seen. And, side note, I really need this because in my last breakup I left my blender with my boyfriend and I don't have one, so I've been smoothie-less for a year now, and uh, it's time to get back into action with some smoothies in the morning. And they also sent me this greens superfood powder because they must know that I really am, <laughs> I'm really terrible at getting in my greens every day. Like I'm lucky if I get one serving, and I think really you're supposed to have like three to four if you wanna be a truly healthy human being. Greens are very, very, very important. Um, so this has gotta be a great way to just sneak it in in the morning. Loving that. I mean, let's see how it tastes. We got wheatgrass, we got chlorophyll powder, we got spirulina powder, we got chlorella powder, we got spinach, broccoli, kale, kelp, rocket leaf, parsley, celery, grapeseed, dandelion. To be honest, none of that sounds good, so <laughs> let's see. But also there's matcha powder, and I really love matcha, so that might make it taste good. Also, of course, Rini has found her way into the box. Do you like that, baby? Is that your new house? Is that your new house? Boogie's back there waiting her turn. You can't fit in your Boogie. You cannot fit your fat butt in here. So cute. Also a glass bottle, which I really love and appreciate. It feels really, really, really quality. What do you think, boy? You want a smoothie? Tuna and chicken smoothie for the boogie song? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh! Oh my God, I was not ready. I didn't think you'd be charged. Look at that. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make a little recipe, shall we? Actually, let's just keep it really simple. I'm thinking bananas, berries, the greens powder, and just a little bit of water. A few pieces of banana. That is definitely green. <laughs> you know, I have to say, it smells like a matcha latte. It actually does not smell bad at all. Okay, so I'm gonna do just a somewhat big spoonful of this. And you know what? I'm feeling a little crazy. Maybe we'll throw in some chia seeds. <laughs> Pop in some of these. A little extra protein. Also, while I was making this, I have been charging the base. This is so cute. Okay, it actually smells really, really good. Like banana matcha. Let's see. Honestly, you don't even taste it. Wait, why is it? I saw spirulina and chlorophyll and wheatgrass and I thought, no way, but it's like refreshing. I'm super into this. I don't understand how it tastes good, but it truly does. I'm instantly reminded of how much I used to love smoothies and I really don't understand how I've gone this long without having a blender in my life but I'm very, very excited to have this cute little portable one. Thanks again to Timmy for sending this to me. And if you guys would be interested in trying out the little mini mix of blender for yourself, as well as the greens powder, they are offering my viewers a 20% off discount. All you have to do is use code Kalel at checkout. 
So tonight I'm going out with my old pal, Jonathan Wang. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you might remember seeing him in a vlog or a couple of vlogs like years and years and years ago. Um, I'm going out with John and some of his other friends to celebrate the Chinese New Year. We're going to like, um, I guess some kind of like famous Chinese restaurant or something. So I thought maybe I would bring you guys along with me. I don't really know what the night has in store. Uh, we're gonna go to eat, we might go see a movie, I might meet up with some other friends as well, so maybe things will get crazy tonight. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> yes, my Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> Listen, I mean, okay, story time with Kalel. Let me teach you guys something. Okay, so basically the reason why my tree is still up is because I don't really celebrate Christmas in the sense of the birth of Christ because I am not religious. I'm actually an atheist, but um, I still decorate during the holiday time because I celebrate an older tradition than Christmas, a tradition known as Yule, which actually started before the birth of Christ. And it was celebrated by, I wanna say Germans, which is also my heritage, uh, Germans, Pagans, German pagans. <laughs> I, I looked this up. I spent a whole day researching this like three years ago. I don't really remember the details of it, but all I know is that before Christ was born, which side note, scholars don't think Christ was born on December 25th. They think he was born in the spring. Uh, the date September 25th was literally snatched from other gods. It's snatched from the sun god. Uh, there's one in Egypt and there's one in uh, pagan Rome religion as well. I can't think of the name, Miseris, Miseris, Horus is the Egypt one. Anyway, that god's birthday was December 25th and you know why it was December 25th? Because, <laughs> oh my gosh, both of them up there, guys. Uh, the birth date of the sun god was considered December 25th because December 25th is supposedly the day when the sun is its very weakest and they felt that that was like symbolic of infancy, which makes a lot of sense. But Jesus Christ, not born on December 25th, but my point is, <laughs> with this long story, sorry, um, is that I celebrate more of like a Yule style holiday and that tradition, a long, 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 long time ago, again, before Jesus Christ, uh, people would bring in evergreen inside the house during the really, really terrible months of winter just to kind of have some life in the house. And I think they kind of, um, um, I don't wanna say worship, but maybe worship. I mean, pagans worship a lot of things. Worshiped the trees because they were the only things that could stay alive through the winter and I guess they thought that that was really, really special, which if you think about it, it is pretty damn special. Anyway, that was my very <laughs> unorganized, all over the place rant about why I still have my Christmas tree up. And I'm just honestly like a lazy piece of shit, but, and I like it. I mean, once you have it and then you go to take it away, it's kind of like sad, right? I just don't want to get rid of it. Okay, I'm seriously going to be late, but quick album of the day, boots, Steve Madden, Jeans are Reformation. Bag is Stella McCartney. Bodysuit I've had for a million years. It's from Aritzia. And my jewelry is the same jewelry that I always, always, always wear. And of course, my Fitbit. Can you guys tell that a bitch has got in shape? Like, yes, we're getting there. I've really been putting in the work. I've been eating right. And I'm finally starting to feel really good about myself, so let go. Oh my God. Do you understand how long it has been since I have had Chinese food? I was just telling my good friend, Jonathan Wang. What's up? <laughs> By the way, where's my, where's my New Year's money? Because you're way older than me. Way, way, way Listen, older. I left in the car. <laughs> but, you know. What are we gonna eat? What? Tell everything. me all. You said you want this pancake. Eat thing. Everything. What you that? Pancake. That. I'm a big fan of chow mein. Forever. The thing about Chinese places is why do they have to have so many options? 
It's overwhelming. Yeah, you just gotta know what to eat. There's literally 130 different dishes. John, what did you just find in your soup? It's chicken. It's I cannot. I mean, I'm not vegan anymore, but I am not a that, that is the juiciest part of the chicken. <laughs> it was the oh moving chicken. Now, it could have It could have been. It Oh my god. Oh, you're ruining it. I'm ruining it? Yeah, put it in the spoon. Why do I have to put it in the spoon? It's the soup. <laughs> Just look at this spread. Like, we ordered so much food. <laughs> Way too much. Okay, so we finished dinner and now I'm here at the movies eating more. Here's the thing when you go see a movie, you have to indulge. It's part of the American experience, right? So I got my popcorn, I got my soda. I got not one but two things of candy because I. I'm an addict, I know. I was just talking about how I like kicked my sugar cravings, and I did. I have none of it at my house. But for the movies, I have to just have a couple things, right? This is what an addict does. You start like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like negotiating with yourself. You're like, well, it's the movies. I can have a few things of candy, right? I can get a soda. It's the movies, but. Okay, so it is currently midnight. And I should probably be on my way home, but I'm stopping by to visit my friend Ollie um, because we meant to hang out today, but then things kind of like got rearranged, but he just texted me and was like, are you still in LA? And I was like, yes. So being a little spontaneous and going to give him a visit, I don't know how long I'll end up staying there, but I'll see you guys when I get there. So, we're just sitting here chilling. <laughs> Why can't you stop? I can't. I've been trying to record this clip for like five minutes and <laughs> you just keep fucking laughing at me. Okay, it's midnight. I came here obviously for a booty call. <laughs> yeah. I have news for you. <laughs> no, I got out of my car and I was like, this literally feels like a booty call because I'm like coming over at midnight to your apartment. The guy was alarmed about your parking job. Anyway, we were just talking about uh, your dating life. Yes. Ollie was just trying to convince me to make a profile on Raya. Yes. I think it's time. <laughs> for and if you don't Raya. know what Raya is, it's like the who's who. The who's who and they <laughs> like you have to like have X amount of followers or like have some kind of connection to someone, yeah. right? Like that's it's like, like the Soho there's house. criteria. Oh, that was scary. Listen, <laughs> stop. How come, I didn't get to, how come I didn't get to look at myself? <laughs> Literally the idea of having photos of me play on a slideshow with music, which is like what the Riot profile is, makes me throw up in my mouth. Like <laughs> it's basically like TikTok. <laughs> And then we were joking and I was like, uh, what is my, is my song going to be like BTS, Blood, Sweat, and Tears? And my, <laughs> my bio is going to say, just a 30 year old Korea boo, <laughs> desperately, <laughs> desperately seeking an oppa. Yes. Oh my god, I could never. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We were, yeah, 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 yeah. We were watching like the world's most low budget reality dating show. With no, it's not. Yes, it is. This is high quality. Okay, yeah, high quality. It's Black China's mom, <laughs> and she's dating. She's dating, or she's like testing the waters with various people. That you can tell are not serious. It's like a old guy with a beard. Please, okay, 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 okay. You, you guys gotta watch this. Hashtag <laughs> a white boy in me. Thank you for sucking under me. Really, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I get in your face like this and say, you sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy. I think I'd do it. Okay, we're rolling up to McDonald's at fucking 3 a.m. and it's lit. <laughs> Everybody just got the cravings. Oh at my god, 3 there's ambulances. Why is there an ambulance at McDonald's? <laughs> Hello? I just, everybody taking pictures of the fucking McDonald's like it's something beautiful. This is art. You know, 
4 a.m. McDonald's, the high points of living, thriving. I was supposed to be like on a health grind right now, and I me too. I'm fucking you failing. really just for me. <laughs> I was I was really good. I was on day one. Actually, bitch, you were the one who pulled up in Postmates and said, "What do you want from McDonald's?" That wasn't me. I was doing so well. Okay, so it is now like what 5 a.m. and I'm laying here and I just don't think I have it in me to do the hour drive right now. So I'm just <laughs> inviting myself to sleep over. I actually don't know if I'm gonna like sleep over, sleep over, but I'm gonna lay here for like an hour or so until, I don't know, I get more energy to drive because right now I'm just zonked. Um, but it was a fun day, lots of socialization. Very good, very good. Uh, making baby steps towards getting back out into the world. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.